My name is Joel Harris. I'm the head of sales and marketing for Harris Vaccines. We're primarily a swine vaccine company, but a few months ago we started working on avian influenza, uh, specifically H7, and we kind of just decided to look at that as a target and as a proof of concept. Uh, and then, kind of unbeknownst to us, H5 comes into the United States and we took what we learned from the H7 work and some other studies we've been doing in poultry and developed an H5 vaccine that we want to evaluate um, both experimentally and in the field. So we've developed a uh, H5 in avian influenza vaccine that's 100% matched to the current virus that's circulating in flocks in the U.S. We've uh, ramped up production so we're capable to produce millions of doses a week if need be. Uh, I think so far we've produced about half a million doses and we've submitted documentation and data to the USDA to get a conditional uh, USDA licensed product. Um, however, because of the the disease status of avian influenza, it's a, it's a select agent and a foreign animal disease, we're unable to sell that vaccine to the public until we get the conditional approval or and or until we get uh, a, a go-ahead from the USDA. So right now we're just um, waiting for that green light and hopefully we can start uh, um, getting some data back from these experiments that are ongoing. And what we really want to do though is get the vaccine into the field and see what kind of impact we can have. So where we feel the avian influenza vaccine would be most useful is uh, in a situation where a producer is euthanized, uh, say a barn or millions of birds and, ha and wants to repopulate that facility because they've, are, they've tested positive, they've had to euthanize all the animals and now there's concern of, okay, if I repopulate, am I going to get it again? Uh, you know, what's the insurance on that? So that's where we feel the vaccine could be useful. Um, mostly because if the virus were to stop today, it would take any, up to 18 months for an egg layer producer to repopulate that barn. And so you're going to see dramatic increases, not only in, the, in a dozen eggs, but anything relating to that, baked goods, uh, consumer goods, fast food, I mean, anything that's tied to that. So right now we have two trials that are scheduled to start soon, one in Ames, Iowa at the USDA Vet Service Lab, and then one in the Southeast Georgia Poultry Research, which is part of USDA ARS. So those will hopefully start soon, and they're in uh, chickens, ducks, and turkey. So we'll start to get data from that very soon. Um, and then hopefully, if we get approval to use it in the field or to or in a specific region, like we we would just like to get the chance to put it out in the field and and get some information on how this could be used effectively to to uh, um, I mean to do something because every week there's another case and millions of birds are being euthanized so it's it's become a lot more critical than I think people were expecting it to be. This video is brought to you by Farms.com.